Ink Ribbon. Resident Evil has done a few fun things throughout the series to make players smile, but it's hard to think of anything more silly than running around as a block of tofu. And that's exactly what Capcom did. From cosplaying a cactuar to his very important job in game development, here are 25 facts about tofu. Tofu is a joke character that premiered in the original Resident Evil 2 as an unlockable minigame. It is exactly like Hunk's minigame, except you are armed with only a knife. Even though Tofu mode is meant as a joke, Tofu Survivor is the hardest minigame in Resident Evil. To unlock Tofu Survivor, you have to play through the game consecutively a total of 6 times with an A rank. That means on the same save file, you need to have A, B, A, B, A, B scenarios in a row. Which, by the way, I unlocked for this video, and in the process, I found this screenshot that tells you about the special key that I had never seen before. Tofu is able to show damage visually, changing slowly from white to red, but he will begin to also turn purple if he's poisoned. In Super Dead Rising 3, a power down can make the player turn into Tofu for a while. Using a cheat device, the player can change Jill's character model to Tofu in Resident Evil 3 and you can play the whole game as Tofu. In the ending screen for Tofu Survivor, Hunk is shown to have cooked him in a pot and is eating him. I'm sure it's obvious, but Tofu is wearing Jill's beret both in the original menu screen and in the remake. The classic menu screen seems to also show a berry-themed Tofu standing behind her, but it's hard to tell exactly what the outfit is supposed to be. The specific sounds made by Tofu's footsteps is a common onomatopoeia in Japan used for things that are bouncy or jiggly. Minato Biohazard has a lot of cards depicting Tofu cosplaying as several characters, and even one where he dressed as a cactuar from Final Fantasy. There's a secret Tofu Survivor mode in Darkside Chronicles that's unlocked once you've beaten all the chapters. You play as Claire and work your way back from the RPD to the streets, fighting hordes of zombie Tofu along the way. In the Resident Evil remake, if you type the original password into the lab computer, which was Mole, you will hear Tofu's voice. Waka. The Capcom store in Japan actually sold Tofu keychains, complete with a beret and a knife. In case you don't know what Tofu actually is, it's fermented soybean curd that is processed into a block in a similar way that cheese is made. It pretty much has no taste or smell, but that allows it to be used in almost any dish. A popular Japanese tofu company, Otokomae Tofu, officially collaborated with Resident Evil 2 Remake and Tsuyoshi Kando, the producer of the game, held up one of their tofus during a livestream. It was also during this livestream that it was revealed that tofu's character model was made by scanning real pieces of tofu. In the Resident Evil 2 Remake, Tofu Survivor Mode was reintroduced and revamped, once again being modeled after Hunk's fourth Survivor Mode. This time alongside Tofu, you can unlock four more block-related foods, including Cognac, Flan, Uido Mochi, and Anin Tofu. In Chinese cuisine, there's a tofu called Chou Dofu, or Stinky Tofu. It can smell anywhere between pungent cheese to rotting food, and is a very popular food in some countries. I feel like this would have made a great addition, and I just wanted to mention it because I feel like it was a missed opportunity. The original version of Tofu had white cartoony gloves, which were removed in the remake. Katsutoshi Karatsuma is the original voice of Tofu. He was a programmer on the series responsible for programming the AI for the first three games in Resident Evil, as well as working on Devil May Cry and Okami. He once again voiced Tofu in the Resident Evil 2 remake. After measuring Tofu by blocks visually, it's my guess that he's between 120 and 140 blocks of Tofu, which would make enough meals to feed about 246 people. Tofu speaks exclusively in Japanese. Among the lines he says are Ah, Yamero ya! 
In the November 2008 issue of EGM, Jun Takeuchi revealed in an interview that tofu originated as a way for them to test the collision, and by the end of the development, the dev team had grown so attached to him that they gave him his own minigame. And that's the story of how tofu ended up in the game. And that's it for this list. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you learned something new, then be sure to... That like button. What video game character would you like to see a list like this on? Let me know in the comments, and be sure to check out my other videos on more facts just like these. Until next time, I'm Kai Morgan, and as always, thanks for watching Ink Ribbon. And a very special thank you to all of my Patreon supporters and YouTube members. Your extra support means the world to me and helps me keep making content for you guys.